So I was at some point addicted to watching porn. Yes, this was like five years ago, shortly after my high school. I was in my teen years and I caught up this addiction. It was, this has been the worst addiction in my life, watching porn. So this addiction was shortly after my high school. And I could watch porn like for a full day. Some days were like tense, like I couldn't do anything. I would sit there, watch porn. And the, bad, and the baddest thing that has ever happened to me about porn was I couldn't save money. Like I could not save any penny. I could spend any money I could have my hands on on buying data, mobile data, to access the internet, to watch porn movies, stuff, you know. But, like, this thing affected my life negatively because I remember I used to stay up all night watching stuff. And during that, I was, I was being in bed lazy. I could not eat, eat well. I couldn't see the sun. Like, I was so caught up in this addiction, in this addiction that I couldn't help myself. <clears throat> and I remember one day, like, I learned on an article on Google. And, the, and the, the author was, like, wrote about the effects of watching porn, dizziness, brain fog, you know, that stuff. And I kind of related to that article because, for me, that addiction watching porn had like uh, had affected me in a different way. Like I could not focus on a single thing. I could not focus on anything. But I, I I lost patience about anything. Like I wanted things there and then. Of course, things don't happen like that. So I kept blaming myself. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening? Why am I, I like? I couldn't focus. My life was a mess because this thing even it have also affected my my rhythm of sleep because I would stay up all night and during that I would be in bed lazy like very tired without doing anything. I lost my confidence because I couldn't I couldn't talk to people like maintain that eye contact relating to people like making new friends that thing wasn't for me because i kind of felt shy of, of the addiction but i couldn't get rid of it like i don't know why but that happened so i remember some living I, I lost like i lost relationships like my girlfriend left me because of that because i i couldn't give her enough time my um, all my time I had used a bit on watching this stuff, and when my girlfriend left, that hit my like that hit the back of my brain, and I kind of woke up and I and I was like, like I couldn't imagine where like the world I've been living in. So when my girlfriend left me, like I became lonely. You know? I even gave up watching porn. And I don't know why even I had started watching it. Then after that scenario, like I was single, life was so lonely, very lonely. Even during watching my porn days, life was lonely, but I had something like some days I'll call her, talk about something, you know. I had that in mind that she's around and she will support me and everything. But when she left me, I kind of had a setback in life. I was heartbroken. I hated everything. Yeah, I did. I hated everything. And and I like I reflected about my life, my past days, and I like I knew this addiction was was the like the root cause of everything, of all the bad things in my life, like oh relationship stars, friends, I lost friends I could, because I couldn't like go out, talk to people, I, I kind of lack confidence.
during that period. So I looked for help. Of course, I was too shy to share it with someone. So I went to Google, searched for articles about how to get rid of this addiction. I read a lot. Also went to YouTube, watched tons and tons and tons of videos. And I remember I landed on a, ch a challenge. It was like 14 days. No, it was a month. Yeah, a month. Without watching porn, without everything. I tried that thing, but I only did for a, I only did it for a week. And the next two weeks, like I was, my love, my love for kind of watching this stuff was kind of put on a hold. And when I came back, things were worse. Yeah, things were worse. I remember that. I remember that after that very week, I watched watched tons, tons, tons of that stuff. I look like I went to I tried a lot of like remedies like putting like getting rid of phones, internet, everything, but things weren't working out, really working out because I could leave my phone home like to go and meet up with people. But later find find myself watching porn on other like on other people's phones. And that didn't click for me so I had to look for an effective remedy. So I landed on a program towards the the guy called it a monk. I don't remember I don't really remember how the program was called, but I was supposed to wake up like at six AM, work out, have shower had have breakfast, then go out. I had to leave the phone home till midday. I tried that that stuff. And things were kind of working out. But of course, being addicted to something and cutting that, like cutting the addiction in an instant without like a progression, it's kind of hard. Of course, I went back to Washington. Yeah, after that, that, that thing. But, but of course, doing that uh, stuff, the remedy, like I was kind of coming back to people, relating to people, going out more, having a, like a routine to follow. Of course, I, I had a routine to follow. So I went back to Washington. Then later, like I landed on another video and the guy was talking about smoking and alcohol, like that stuff. And like, was sh like the guy was sharing how he quit smoking and drinking so the guy was like he would drink all week every day every day it's alcohol day bad day like he would go out every day just to have alcohol then he decided to chop up days it was seven days to five to three to one day a week and eventually finally gave up taking alcohol so i i tried to kind of try his 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 way of quitting that like his addiction yeah? so i tried to relate it to my life so i tried to shed you watching porn like i said i wasn't gonna watch porn like every day so i, I said i shed you watching porn on weekends sundays and saturdays and the rest of the days i will i will had to be out like talking, physical talking to people, to friends, family, you know that. So when I landed on this guy on YouTube, the guy was, I don't, like I don't really remember his name or his channel, but the guy was the guy was sharing how he quit, how he quit his addiction of smoking and drinking alcohol. So I I decided to give it a try, relating it to my addiction, my pornography addiction so i scheduled watching i actually made a schedule of watching porn a full month like i had to watch porn only on weekends that is saturday and sunday and for only one hour per day yeah that, that that's what i did and eventually this thing worked for me because 
I had to save all my energy for the full week. I had like I had to avoid everything like pornography. Like I had to, to avoid any pro- pornographic stuff like photos, music. Even I also avoided music videos. Those music videos with a lot of nudity. I had to avoid them. Movies like. I want, I like, I got rid of anything that could take me back to my, like, area days. So I did that. By how this thing, this thing worked for me, because on weekends, we kind of had parties, outings, of course. And with my boys, we had, some day, like some Sundays, we had to play Sunday League. So at some point, I kind of forgot on those days to watch the stuff and throughout the course because i did it for about 21 like 21 days that that's three weeks because i read somewhere that to build a habit that a, a habit is built within 21 days so i said three weeks for the start and the thing was working the thing was working like I re- reconciled with my girl. We get we got like we got back together. I improved my relationship like my relationship with my boys, my friends. Like I, I could go out more, eat more, like I I could see the sun because because I could sleep all night, wake up energetic like energized and ready for the day. Then do my then do my most important work, of course. Uh, then I started looking for a job like, to get busy. And li- little by little, I actually get got rid of this addiction. Till now, I went from like because the addiction took it was around 20, 2017. Yeah, twenty seventeen after my high school. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, I was. So addicted to this, to this thing, watching this thing. So then, after I adopted this this routine, yeah, I did that till twenty twenty two. Yeah, that's around five years, almost five years, and I I got rid of the addiction completely. Of course, there are days I would still go back and watch. Of course, but. I do. I would watch. I would watch only on the designated days. That's weekends, Saturday and Sunday. On the the working days, the Monday to Friday, I couldn't watch because I had. To. Of course, I can't say that I did this. Like I'm t- like I'm too perfect. Like I perfected the routine. I like I couldn't miss a day. Like you know, I I had setbacks. Yes, I had setbacks here and there. Of course, there are days I, I would watch porn during the Monday to Friday days, those working days. And it's like, the thing was, I would watch, uh, like, I would watch the videos, then, like, catch myself in the, in the act, then, up, like, leave it there and then. Like, I felt guilty that I wasn't respecting my, de- I wasn't respecting my decisions. Then, of course, I would have setbacks, but again, like, go back to the routine until now. This thing, like, worked for me. Of course, the remedies I tried were the, those people were, like, advising people addicted to this thing to get rid of the internet, like, for a certain amount of time like getting rid of phones like I iso- like the stuff was too hard for a normal person to for a modern person like i couldn't get rid of my phone like i could i couldn't spend a day with that <laughs> like accessing the internet of course things were not clicking that for me so those remedies i most of the remedies i found like the routines to quit this thing couldn't work and the thing that actually worked for me was not actually like it wasn't actually made for this addiction 
the guy was addicted in a certain addiction like smoking and drinking alcohol the guy was an alcoholic and i i tried to relate to him and eventually his remedy worked for me as well you know so that's it and a, a tip for anyone caught up in this addiction like to get busy find something find productive work to do do something with friends talk about anything like go play soccer try out your hobbies you know the more you get busy the more your mind will like get focused learn to get focused on a certain thing you're doing and you find yourself like forgetting about watching the other stuff you get so eventually you kind of forget about it you get rid of it eventually that i know because i've been there i've tried lots of stuff but the things were not actually clicking like they were not actually working i don't know how these guys like came up with those ideas i don't know how like, i don't know if they worked for them or i don't know but that thing didn't work for me and the thing that worked for me was to get busy like of course that, that that's when even i started training resting in gym to train to get fit look better you know that's around 2017 in that period where i was at uh, in this addiction so eventually like doing those tough days things were not really good but not like if you learn to like focus on the good during time the like, during times of catastrophe you kind of build positive habits to through it because during that period where i was trying to get busy and getting rid of that that, that addiction the worst addiction in my life i developed a habit of like training i started going for sunday league matches playing football you know doing that stuff like i made new friends that to just to get busy like to people to relate to like people to talk to other than sitting in my like other than like confiding in my room hiding from people you know and things worked out, worked out for me and i hope they work out for you if you put in the work of course you have to be dedicated and when you have a setback during your during your journey of quitting this stuff don't beat up yourself that pick just pick yourself up and move on things happen no one is perfect i've been there and i've been through so you can anyway that's it hope this like inspire someone on his journey of quitting watching porn so that's it peace and love